We're giving ourselves a little cushion every season for the last however down the stretch of the season and you understand like this is, um, um, to try to have home court in a play, play in an environment or series have to win here and the lower seed so you gotta just ailing us I think tonight was just a you know, they know what happened and whatever it was of home court in a playing environment or you know when you get into a series have to win here and and protect your home court especially as a lower seed so you gotta correct whatever is ailing us I think tonight was just a slow start you know obviously they know what happened in New York when we jumped out to a, whatever it was 20 to 4 or whatever so you knew they were gonna come out strong they did we responded just couldn't get over the hump I think it was wire to wire for them and that's another um the situation that we we can't let happen on our home court is the, do you think is the road is the energy any different on the road? Do you feel like there's something on the road that you're not able to replicate at home? Honestly, I don't know what the answer is. It's always that thing. If you did, you'd be able to get ahead of it. It's just every game's a little different. Whether you're giving up a big lead in the fourth quarter or not getting off to a good start where you don't control any of the momentum, <clears throat> we've kind of seen it all. So you pick it, we've experienced it. It was 18-4. Like what, I mean, you've alluded to it, but what happened? in that stretch. I mean, McBride got loose at he had like 11 in the first, you know, five or six minutes. And we, we kept – Hartenstein got three uh, floaters or finishes in the paint, and they were kind of spaced inside. They played a starting lineup that gave, uh, you know, Hartenstein an ability to roll. Him and Brunson played pick and roll. And then when McBride was hitting shots, they had every option open and they were making them. So, and it's tough when you're getting the ball at the basket every time coming down down the court. We never got stops that led to transition. But like I said, we responded, got it to four at one point in the second half, and they just had every answer. How are you? How reasonable it is to get into the seven eight range and also below you? You know, Houston kind of coming up. Uh, maybe a week or two ago, 60 was the the motivation. Right now, I think I could care less about where you're at. It's just the consistency of uh, how we're playing. That's the most important thing. Cause uh, honestly, who cares what seed you are? If you play like we did at night, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever it is, doesn't matter. You're not gonna get very far. So that's the perspective and the focus it doesn't really matter where the standards are. Steph, in a normal year, the toughest lot. You've been around long enough, you know, 82 games, just, you can't think about that you know, no matter what point in the season you are. When you ask the question, Denver, Jokic hitting uh, buzzer beer, that's the one, the first one that came to mind. But like I said, you've, we've experienced some some huge letdowns we've had you know some that have gone our way and we've had games like tonight where you're supposed to win and it might not be as dramatic as that Denver game but it's a tough loss so yeah it's hard to keep the spirit it's not hard to keep the spirit it's hard to maintain like the momentum that you know, we're trying to create and Sounds good when we talk about it. We just haven't executed. Is, is is there a is there like a? No, I mean it's a little bit of everything to be honest. Like it's like I said, it's uh, even that game I was just talking about. We played great for forty two minutes, and then let go of the last six minutes tonight our first six minutes was kind of the defining window that gave them all the confidence in the world that they could win tonight so and then you 
it's it's confusing because you go to LA and you have that you know performance like we did in LA where bouncing back from a tough loss against Dallas and you show a lot of life. So I. Uh, it's, a, it's a little bit of everything, but I think it's all controllable to a certain extent, and we just have to do it. Steph, Trace tonight still, despite everything, Trace puts up 19 and 10 with three blocks. Over the last five, six, seven weeks, what's his development meant for you guys as a team? He's been a great spark off the bench. Him and CP and even Clay have a nice chemistry in pick and roll situations. He's understood the pictures a lot on defense and know where to be to get those blocks and uh, get those hustle plays and you know give us a, a huge presence inside so I think uh, he's proven that he's learning you know on the fly and he's making a huge impact um, he's uh, he's doing everything in his power to, to impact the game so it's great to see Yeah, he's, the time, like I said, the chemistry, you know, I think he's gotten a bunch of them from CP, a bunch of them from Clay. And when he sets good screens and you have to pay attention to other guys on the floor, he's, uh, his timing and his leaping ability and his you know pressure on the rim, it gives us a different dynamic. And now we have to utilize that and then get everything else going around, uh, especially offensively when it comes to our organization and what we're trying to do on every possession. Going back to 